6,540,000 shares. Well, it's Tuesday, and it's Our Town Day, and the team is off to Bentleyville in Washington County. Yvonne Zeno's traveled about 25 miles south today without Mr. Long, who is on vacation. But Yvonne tells us there is a lot going on in Bentleyville today. Let's go to her. Take it away. Jim, there is a lot going on in Bentleyville, and it is a beautiful day out here. And wait till you see the Our Town Welcome they've planned for us. <laughs> That's a balloon release thanks to the Bentworth Elementary School. And also up here we have the Bentworth High School Band and some of the uh, Ave Maria Catholic School 3rd and 8th graders, plus lots and lots of folks that live here in Bentleyville. <laughs> and also we have, we have over here, we want to make sure we introduce the folks who arranged all this for us. We have the Chamber of Commerce group from Bentleyville. We have the Bentleyville Council, and last but not least, we have the Bentleyville Senior Citizen Center. So we did travel about 25 miles south of Pittsburgh today, but as you see, it was well worth it. Bentleyville is a small rural town of about 2,700. I think we got most of them out today, and as you're about to see, it's a town that's been around for a long time. Bentleyville is named after the man who founded the town back in the early 1800s, Sesh Bazaar Bentley Jr. He once advertised for settlers to come to his little town on the waters of Pigeon Creek in Washington County, just 25 miles from Pittsburgh and 10 miles from Brownsville. Although Bentleyville has always been a mining and farming town, in those earlier days it was best known for its camp meetings, religious revivals that brought folks out by horseback, spring wagons, and buggies. They pitched tents in a attended services all day long. Bentleyville is one of the few towns that own and operate their own telephone company. It began in 1911 so a group of farmers could communicate and they extended those lines all the way into town. And with me now is the mayor, Gail Ames, and we have Bob Bozovich, who's the president of the Chamber of Commerce. And they were telling me that although, like many small towns, when the coal mines left Bentleyville, it was pretty devastating, but they have some other things to make up for. Lots of small businesses in this town. Yes, Yvonne, we have many small businesses started out by families and now employing many people in our town. And if you're wondering about the future of Bentleyville, what's down the road? He just happens to have a copy have of an article you may have seen in the Pittsburgh Press. It's uh, about computers and what they're what, what exactly it's, it's what Bentleyville can expect in the future yes it says Bentleyville is going to grow in population and not only in population but employment in the future and it gives lots of suggestions like uh, what small ribbon manufacturing companies ribbon and manufacturing agricultural supplies and things on that order all right those are just some of the things down the road for Bentleyville and when we come back a little later in the show we're going to tell you how these folks got together and got themselves a town park that's it for now here in Bentleyville now back to you, Jim. Okay, Yvonne, thank you very much. Coming up, Big Bob with sunshine in the forecast, weather, and more next. And Bentleyville is our town today. We'll have a bit more later on on Action News.